Welcome back to Daily Flash. Stolen Dough is the name of a new documentary about the real inventor of stuffed crust pizza. Let's take a look. Hello, Pizza Hut. I'm a product inventor based in Brooklyn, New York, and I have a huge opportunity for you. My product makes them eat the crust. Anybody. Pizza Hut is being sued by a family in Brooklyn for allegedly taking a bite out of their business. Pizza Hut denies it stole the family's invention. The Mangiello claim has absolutely no merit at all, and we will oppose their claim vigorously. My name is Anthony T. Mangiello. I was doing an investigation, and I would cut the thing open from the top, and you could see where the dough closed in between the cheese sticks. This was never supposed to be this way. This was supposed to be a moment of pride for the whole family. I gave them the patent, and then they stole my idea. What would Bob do? And Anthony Mangiello joins us on the show. Yeah. Welcome back, Anthony. Great to see you. Indeed. Thanks for having me. It's great to see you guys. All right, I have to ask you this, Anthony. What was it like, actually, to see your story, what you went through? And I knew it was a very hard time. Yeah. Actually made into a movie where people, you can actually tell your story to everybody. That's what it was about. And I have to tell you, even that, that uh, quick... Uh, clip that you made, it gives me chills. Every time I watch it, every time I hear it, I get chills up and down my spine. You say your patent was stolen. How has this affected your life? It affected my life tremendously. And the reason for the movie is to explain to people exactly what a person like myself goes through in a situation like this. Being in a David and Goliath scenario as I was and the fight that I had on my hands, I don't think anybody could realize how hard and how tough a fight it really was. Yeah, we could actually, look at your face in this, too. You can see that looks like actual video here of the deposition there, worried and such, and you can imagine so. Right now, what is the status of your lawsuit? Are you going to keep on fighting? Well, the truth is the statute of limitations has run out, and uh, I didn't pursue it because back when the, uh, the decision came in from Judge Nickerson, it was at a point in my life where, uh, let's say, the lawyers needed about a quarter of a million dollars back then in the 90s to take this up on appeal. And I, I just didn't have that money. I also did, if you, if you realize from the show, the, the movie that I lost a brother through the trial. He died at a young age. And then, you know, all of a sudden things like this lawsuit, they really weren't important anymore. But as far as what I could do now, the statute of limitation has run out. But I'm not looking to get any money from anybody. That's not what I'm looking to do. Okay, well, I was going to ask you that. I mean, Pizza Hut said, hey, we'll give you, what was it, 50 grand? And, but you had to give them your patent as well. I mean, why didn't you take it? Look, here's why. It's just all about numbers. Pizza Hut at the time was doing $4.6 billion in sales. After they launched Stuffed Crust Pizza in 95, I'll tell you the statistics show, they rose to $5.2 billion. Wow. They had 8,700 outlets across the country. And this is a billion dollar concept. I mean, how do you offer me $50,000 and think I'm just gonna go away? Right. Yeah, that, I mean, that's a, yeah. that's a fair. I gotta tell you, Anthony, I love pizza, but I, I mean, the cheese on the pizza is enough for me. You <laughs> fold it into the crust, it's a little too much. I gotta be honest with you. Well, the truth is my original concept of stuffed crust pizza went far beyond just having cheese in the crust. And I happen to agree with you. I mean, I love the product. I buy the product for my family because I created it and it's beautiful to see it being sold in yeah. the market. But the original concept of stuffed crust pizza was all about different varieties of fillings in the crust. So when you're done eating a slice of pizza, you had a plus. Okay, so I grew up in the pizza business. My parents owned pizza restaurants growing up here. And uh, one thing I just thought was just blasphemy is, is people don't eat the crust. And I'm like, I have, a, I have a bonus son that we open the box up and it's just pizza. I'm like, what, what are you doing? That's the best part of the pizza, right? <laughs> I want to know, like, were you, were you just sitting around and you go, yeah, yeah geez. How'd the idea come yeah. to you? Let's talk, start from that point. It's a great question, and I'm asked it all the time. Sure. And here, I'm going to tell you how Stuffed Crust Pizza was born. Uh, I grew up in Brooklyn, and uh, I was uh, had a friend of mine whose mom asked me, because she knew I worked for a cheese company, if I would be able to make pizza. And she said, as an Italian uh, mother, hey, I I'll make the sauce, you know? I said, of course I can do it. I'm not a, a pizza guy, but I can figure out how to spin some dough. So sure. I, I brought you know cheese from work. I went to the bakery, and I bought dough balls. Well, the reality was when I arrived at the house, I looked at the dough balls and realized they looked much smaller than when I would see a man behind the glass, you know, spinning a pie in a pizzeria. For sure. So I took two dough balls from the bakery and I put them together. 
I proceeded to stretch it out and I realized how thin the bottom had to be, but I didn't realize that I pushed all the excess dough to the crust area. So if you can imagine what a cooked crust looks like size wise, yeah. I had that with raw dough. <laughs> and then I put the sauce, put the cheese, I put it in the <laughs> oven, and all of a sudden I'm looking through the glass in the oven and I start to get embarrassed. Why? This crust started to grow so big, it looked like a Zeppelin or a calzone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. All, all around the pizza, and I was I was embarrassed. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I did wrong, and I took it out, but there was nothing wrong with it. It looked funny. So we, we cut it up into eight slices, and we started to eat it. And as I looked at this crust, and I bit into the side of it, you know, when you bite into a Zeppelin or a piece of dough like that, it'll close and then open. Right. And I saw all these nooks and crannies, and I was like, wow. The air bubbles, this, right. Inside here, that would be great. And that's truly how stuffed crust Makes pizza sense. was born. Unbelievable. We just have a few seconds left, but I got to ask you this. Do you ever buy frozen pizza? And if you do, which one? Uh, if I do, it'll probably be the journal. I like rising crust. I, hey, I'm the same way. I'm with you on that one. That's that's our go-to. And, and and now it's gluten-free. They don't, have, you know, it's hard to find the gluten-free. And where stuff. is the real Ray's pizza? Oh yeah, it's, no one knows that. Where, where is it? The real Ray's. <laughs> It's in New York. It's definitely <laughs> That's the way to do it. Absolutely. Man, Anthony, I uh, think you come back to tell you a story here. Stolen Dough. You can check it out on Amazon Prime. It's on Roku. You can even see it on Apple TV. Or if you want to see it, they'll tell you where to. Just go to StolenDough.com and you can find out more information as well. We have more Daily Flash coming up right around the corner. No cheese crust, but just cheesy hosts <laughs> like me.